What is up guys, this is Brinko, and here's a quick tutorial, well not quick, it's probably going to be about 8 to 10 minutes, probably more, but here's a tutorial on how to get Chernerus the DayZ map in single player. This will allow you to spawn all the vehicles in from the normal Armour 2 Operation Harrowed and all normal Armour 2 like the jets, the UAVs, the bicycles, the bikes, and show you how to drive them and everything. You can place stuff down. But first, you're going to want to open Operation Arrowhead, and if you're a DayZ player, you are going to want to disable DayZ because you can't click on single player. So click on Expansions, and then click on DayZ here, and then Disable. Okay, and then it says you will need to restart the game to uh, change, so I'm going to come back when the game's restarted. So we're back, and the game's now loading up. We will now be able to click on single player, just wait for the intro to go, and I'll get straight into it. Armour 2 is a really good game and Daisy is really fun. So if you haven't got it and you're just watching this, I recommend you go get it. But now we're going to go on single player. And if you go on to one of these, like campaign, it will show the ones you can do. And like scenarios, here's the different ones you can practice. Boot camp, also the ones you can practice. Armoury, you can go on there. But we're going to go on to editor. And as you know, the Daisy map is a Chernerus. So we're going to click on Chernerus and click continue and just wait for it to load. It's not too bad loading times, but there will. Be, and the problem is there's no zombies, but you could still just explore the map, find out where everything is, like the, get things into your mind, and it will just get you better at Daisy because you'll be able to know how to drive the vehicles, to use the guns, it's just a basic way of practicing. And if you watch Frankie on PC and 1080p's videos, you can see his cinematic intros and outros, and they are made by someone who does it in the editor like this. So you can also make cinematics using this, I'm not too sure how to do that, but let's get started. You're going to start off on this map, and you're going to want to choose somewhere. So we're going to go to the Northwest Airfield, because there's a big runway for our vehicles. And basically, just double click on the map wherever you want to spawn and you'll get man or men. And that will be your class and you can choose your unit. And I will choose a uh, fired AA specialist. And click OK. And then once you want to preview the map, do not click escape. That will exit the editor. Click preview. And as you can see, once it's done loading, I'll be at the Northwest Airfield with the AA expert map guy. And you can see here, and you can't get this rocket launcher in Daisy, but you can get the Daisy weapons. So here's the, the gun, and let me change to my other gun, if I can. There we go. Oh, you can't even see this. Let's zoom in. And there you go. Look at this. But. There's the, there's the weapon, but what you want to do now is click abort and you'll get back onto this map and then double click again and go to a class. So I'm going to choose air and you want to be able to play it. So if you put play playable as pilot and gunner, you click that, then you put the unit which is the vehicle and I'm going to choose the F-35B which is a fighter jet and then you then we're going to click on preview wherever this spawned and here it is and there's a guy in it now but I was trying to shoot him out but if he gets out oh he's dead oh no I hurt him But this is not the best way to do it because there's always someone in it. So what you want to do instead is abort, choose the vehicle, like press delete over that and press delete over that if you want to. But I'm going to double click it here, choose this again and put control player. So I will be the player of this I think. There we go. And I'm the player. So you want to press Q to start it. And choose your angle. Let's go in first person mode. And let's just get onto the runway. It spawns you a bit far away from the runway. But, oh well. 
and we're going to full throttle ahead. So speed up and press out and we'll lift it. It does have the weapons, it does do the maneuvers. It's really hard to control though, so I have to move on that. I've never actually made a successful landing, so let's see if I can do this. I'm going into the roll. I'm going into the roll. Oh! And you can turn auto hover on, which will put that down for you, and you'll just hover here. But this vehicle's not in Daisy, so let's put landing autopilot on. And it should land for me. Or not. We're gonna crash, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash. Alright. So click restart and we spawn back here. But we wanna abort this and get something else. So we want to get in a a helicopter and that will be the UH1Y. Player as pilot. So we will be the pilot in this. Let's click preview. And then there we go. Wait for this to spin up. And it has rockets on it, look at that. Let's hold down Q. And then we go. And we're flying a helicopter. So Q's to ascend, E's to descend and or S sorry. Z's to remove thrust, Q's to gain thrust, WSD's to turn, go up and down, like forward and back, sorry. And we're gonna decrease some thrust and we wanna land. Like this, it was a bad landing, we did ruin everything. And we're gonna crash. But that's the helicopter. And this is how you play on Chernerus. Let's just get a vehicle and we go for a quick drive. So let's get cars. And let's get a towing tractor. Playable player. There we go. This is the things that pull the planes in the airport. And we're in one. <laughs> Look at this, man. Let's go for a drive. It's a bit slow. Okay, enough of that. I'm going to show you what else we can do. Let's delete that. And what we can add is if you double click, you can go to objects and fortifications. You can choose the M. G nest which will be I'll put that here double click over here we can choose uh, warfare buildings and we're gonna go field hospital that can go here to so choose another one we can choose a vehicle service point that can go here hit choose another one we can choose anti-air radar that will go here Choose, these are just things you can spawn. Let's spawn an artillery radar that will go there. Where's the big one? There's aircraft factory that will go in the middle. They're getting bigger. And we can get vehicle service point again. Another one over here. I'm trying to find the big one. UAV terminal here. Oh, that in the big one. I think the big one is M light factory. Light for, yeah, there we go. Look at that. That go up there. What else can we spawn? We can spawn down here a ship, but we don't need the ship, so let's spawn a bicycle, a mountain bike, let's spawn a mountain bike, and we'll be the player. Okay, now preview. Alright, we're on our mountain bike. We're about to crash our mountain, there we go. And here's the little barracks we've spawned. 
and look, here's the, the the things we've spawned, like the tent and the anti-air radar things and the bases and stuff like that. So you can do good cinematics, you can spawn planes and stuff, and you can even import your own models into the game from other maps, but I'm not quite sure how to do that yet. But I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial and little play thing on how to play on Chernerus on Daisy single player but without minus the zombies so basically play on Armour 2 on Chernerus without zombies. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos and peace. It will, I appreciate it. Peace again.